Glenn Eshelman was eight years old when his parents bought him his first oil paint set. Growing up on a farm provided little spare time, but Glenn was determined to develop his gift of art and painting even through his teen years. He began painting farm scenes for the neighbors, and shortly after marrying Shirley, peddled paintings from the trunk of his car to make ends meet. Eventually, he bought a camera to take reference photos for his paintings and began using that camera to photograph weddings and family portraits, in addition to his scenic photography. In 1964, Glenn was asked by a local church to do a slideshow, displaying his scenic photography. This first show was presented with a single slide projector and screen. Shirley ran the turntable and narrated through a microphone. Little did anyone know that this would be the beginning of sight and sound theaters. The slideshow was well received, and by the early 70s, the shows had grown in popularity and were being presented all over the United States. The schedule was exhausting. Often, Glenn and Shirley would be in different locations presenting the shows with their two oldest daughters in tow. It was time to find a permanent location. Glenn and Shirley rented the auditorium at the Lancaster Bible College for a summer and earned enough seed money to purchase their own land and build a theater. In 1976, they opened what became the Living Waters Theater with the multimedia show, A Land of Our Own. Drawing crowds to a permanent location proved more of a challenge than Glenn and Shirley had originally anticipated, and they began to add live elements including vocalists, dancers, actors, and animals to create more interest in the shows. Throughout the next 10 years, the productions grew in scale, and eventually Glenn was inspired to produce his first full-length live stage production, Behold the Lamb, which debuted in 1987. As the productions grew in scale and the public's desire to attend outpaced seating capacity, it became clear that a larger theater was needed. In March of 1991, the Sight and Sound Entertainment Center opened within a mile of the Living Waters Theater to present live, large-scale productions. The Living Waters Theater continued to feature a multimedia experience with special visual and audio effects and innovative fountains of water. The Entertainment Center presented shows such as The Eternal Flame, Colors of Praise, and Splendor of Easter, which all combined biblical and modern-day story elements. In the early 90s, Glenn was inspired again to produce a fully biblical production, this time in epic proportions. This was the biggest undertaking that Sight & Sound had ever done to date, and in 1995, Noah premiered and was received with overwhelmingly positive audience response. It seemed that Sight & Sound had discovered a new focus in presenting epic Bible stories on stage. The future was bright. Just one year later, the unthinkable happened. The phone rang, and it was our daughter, Kim. She said, Daddy, she said, there is a fire in the auditorium. And I looked across the field where I used to look across and see the entertainment sitting on the hill. The only thing that was lit up was fire trucks and smoke coming out of the remains that smoldered there on the hill. And I remember saying to the Lord that night, is this the way sight and sound is to go out? There were several hundred thousand people booked to come to that place in 97 with no place to put them. 300 employees with no place to work. And I remember we were sitting in the farm kitchen late at night, third day. Everybody was gone and for the first time it seemed for a great while, it was quiet. She said, Glenn, she said, you know, we're getting a lot older in life and we worked hard all of our lives, which we did. And then she popped the question. She said, do you really want to come back again? And man, that hit me. I looked over at her and I said, well, do you really want to come back again? You're a part of this just as much as I am. And then it really got quiet. Here's what she said. To me, this is more than a business. It's a calling, a high calling that God has put on our lives. And if we don't come back again, she said, I don't think I could ever live with myself another day or sleep another night. 
The future of sight and sound hinged on that single conversation in the kitchen. Glenn and Shirley decided to rebuild, and out of the ashes came something that Glenn as a boy could never have imagined. In 1998, the Millennium Theater opened with Noah, and the new 2,000-seat theater played to sold-out crowds. Shortly after the new turn of the century, the Sight and Sound Board made a decision of faith to expand halfway across the country and build an additional theater. In May 2008, the brand new, state-of-the-art, 2,000-seat theater opened its doors to the public in Branson, Missouri. And once again, Noah took the stage, impacting a whole new audience and expanding the ministry to the Midwestern states.